morning. I am Venu Sharma, Assistant Professor, EC Department. Today, I am going to discuss the next part of the subject uh, that is wireless and mobile communication. The topic of today's lecture is Li-Fi, that is light fidelity, and uh, the next topic that we are going to discuss is UWB, ultra wideband uh, broadband services. So. First, we will start with light fidelity. Now, LiFi is, in short, it is known as LiFi. LiFi is transmission of data through illumination of light that is sending the data through LED bulb that vary in intensity faster than the human eye can follow. So, this is the basic introduction of LiFi that whenever the communication is to take place between different nodes in a network, it is done through light. Uh, that is illuminated by the LED bulb. Now, this will going to, uh, will uh, travel faster than the human eye that can follow. Now, LiFi is the fast and cheap wireless communication system. Professor Harald has uh, from the University of Edinburgh coined the term LiFi in the year 2011. Now, uh, then in the year 2014, April, uh, the Russian company Stinskoman announced the development of Li-Fi wireless local network that is called as Beamcaster. Beamcaster. The Li-Fi consortium has proven that 10 Gbps data is possible by the Li-Fi technology. Now, this is uh, coined in the year 2011 and in the year 2014 it is uh, also known as beam caster which means that the light beam will be casted uh, means which way it has to travel it will be decided by the uh, nodes which are connected in a network it will provide the data up to 10 gbps of uh, data rate so why li-fi uh, is used when wi-fi is already present so we need faster data rates because as i have al uh, always uh, um, uh, told you that uh, as number of users has increased so uh, larger data rate is required and also there is requirement of faster data rate transmission so that is done by using uh, li-fi technology now wireless data is growing exponentially leading to rf spectrum shortage now here uh, you can see that this is an electromagnetic uh, uh, this is electromagnetic spectrum where different uh, range is shown and this is the visibility uh, visible uh, region this is infrared region this is microwave radio x-ray gamma and ultraviolet now you can see that in this case this uh, li-fi has higher data rate provide higher data rate as compared as compared to the wi-fi technology now how how this li-fi actually work so, if the LED is on, it will transmit digital 1 and if it is off, then it will transmit 0. So, this is a very basic kind of concept because when you are going to do experiments in digital lab, there is various LEDs are there and in the truth table, let us say for uh, 2 bits, uh, there are 4 different options are there like this one. So, which means this is high, this is low. Or you can say there are two, three terms that are commonly used. Like one is known as LED is on, it is known as true, it is known as high. And in case of zero, this means it is off, LED is off, this is for false and this is for low. So, whenever you are going to design any truth table or any circuit uh, which uh, whose uh, experimentation is done in terms of truth table then one zero is used in digital communication so the basic operation is there whenever the light will glow we, it will going to transmit a digital uh, that is one and whenever uh, there is zero then it will trans whenever the light is off then it will transmit zero bit so flickering rate is very high which means it will flicker at a higher rate li-fi is the optical version of wi-fi in case of this wi-fi this radiations are there in case of li-fi uh, light will going to travel between different devices every bulb can be used something like wi-fi hotspot to transmit the wireless data cleaner greener safer and brighter future so this is uh, used uh, from 2014 
so this is the basic architecture or you can say the basic uh, block diagram of how the data will be transmitted using this lifi technology so this is the internet here uh, there is a streaming content will be there now you can see here a photo detector will be there which will going to convert the light which will going to detect that whether like photo detector is a device which will going to convert the light intensity into the digital data uh, like when the led will glow it will transmit zero uh, it will transmit bit 1 when the light will not glow it will transmit bit 0 so that is the basic idea behind photo detector so here a photo detector will be there there is a received app data application data will be there that whether it is 1010 which means it will glow then it will be off then two times it will close so it will going to transmit 1011 data amplification and processing is there and then the data will be stored in the computer so this is the very basic kind of architecture of lifi technology now connectivity in lifi so this problem is similar to the connectivity problem in cellular network when you move from one area of the city to another area while speaking with cell phone so you can see here that here before the handoff is there which means that whenever any device so handoff is a very um, important term that is used in mobile communication which means that whenever a device is moving from one cell to another cell then the control signals has to be transferred from one bts to another bts now you can see over here that there is base station 1 this is base station 2 and this is the simple mobile station is there which will going to transmit and receive the data from between the bts and its own antenna now since this is moving in nature it will move from one base station to another base station so the control signals has to be transferred from this device to another device so this is before hand off and this is after hand off when the uh connection between this one is break and it will be connected between this device and this base station so this is how uh, the connectivity in lifi will be there now you can see in case of this led here all the devices are connect uh, having the connectivity all the time there is no so there is no problem of handover is there this so, solution is uh, called handover using which the user is transferred from one base station to another base station which means that the led will provide the connectivity to every device all the time there is no requirement of hand off hand off is there so multi user support is there like solution in time division multiplexing which means that multiple users can access the same common channel based on the time division let's say there are 15 minutes are there uh, these 15 minutes will equally divide in among n number of users so they can access a common channel so that's why it will going to support the multi uh, user concept now each frame is divided into uh, equal time slots each user transmit the data in one time slot in a predefined order the data streams uh, are divided into frames like this is the frame now you can see in this particular frame there are four slots so frames divided into time slots each user is allocated uh, one slot now you can see that this is the guard band which is optional now why guard band is in inserted because when two or three users more than one user is using the same common channel then the data between the different users can get mixed which means cross talk or interference will be there so to remove that between the two user uh, data guard bands are inserted so that no overlapping of the data will take place so that will be the concept behind using this guard band that is beneficial uh, it can be skipped also it is optional advantages of lifi is it is highly secure because it will not going to travel from one room to another room it means like like three devices are there in a particular room then they can transmit or receive the data using this lifi technology but it will be restricted in that room and it is highly secured it is its availability is there because using a uh, led bulb for the purpose of transmitter and uh, transmission and reception is highly uh, available it does not require any um, type of modeling then efficiency is there fast data rate will be provided because since it is uh, going to cover the area in a particular room only it will not going to travel across the uh, uh, in the different room so it will provide definitely higher data rate It is harmless and it is low-cost technology. 
Disadvantages is there that it cannot pass through objects. Line of sight is always required because whenever the data is to be converted from optical, uh, like light is converted into one zero form that is digital data, then line of sight is required. Li-fi doesn't work in dark or outdoors. Then uh, difficult to achieve this bi-directional capability. High installation cost uh, for of the VLC systems are there. Li-fi uh, has a big drawback compared to Wi-Fi. Unlike Wi-Fi, we cannot move to other room unless there are wired bulbs are there. So, uh, which means that this is a very uh, big disadvantage or drawback of Li-Fi is that that you cannot move from one room to another room, which is possible in Wi-Fi technology. But when you require a low cost technology and you require a highly secured uh, transmission, highly secured data transmission required, then Li-Fi is a better option as compared to Wi-Fi. Interference from external sources like sunlight, normal bulbs and opaque materials is there in the path of transmission will cause interruption, uh, will of course uh, inter uh, interruption in the communication. So, uh, uh, any kind of interference from the external source will be act as a, will provide uh, a problem in proper transmission. Next topic is ultra wideband UWB. Now, ultra wideband in short UWB is a short range wireless communication protocol. So, LIFI is also, also a short range wireless uh, communication because it will going to provide the connectivity in a single room only, in a room only. It cannot uh, going to provide the connections outside the room. It uses radio waves to enable devices to talk to each other. It is similar to uh, Bluetooth but uh, more precise. Uh, reliable and effective services is provided. It uh, also uses a wide, wider frequency. The frequency range of UWB is between 3.1 to uh, 10.6 gigahertz. There is one drawback which is short range but that does not matter much when you have two devices that are in a particular room together. So, this is the introduction of UDB. How this will going to work? Like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, UWB is a wireless communication protocol that uses radio waves. It does not use light uh, to uh, for the purpose of transmission. It uses the radio waves only. UWB transmitters send billions of radio pulses across the wide spectrum frequency and it requires a receiver that translate the pulses into data. The shorter the duration of impulse, the more precise the distance uh, measurement uh, will be. Now, UWB achieves real-time accuracy because as it sends up to 1 billion pulses per second. So, this is the data rate that will be uh, provided by UWB. Now, this is the UWB spectrum. Now, in this particular diagram, you can see that there is a uh, power spectral density is there versus a frequency graph in terms of gigahertz. Uh, now, you can see that this is a one uh, first generation. This is GBPS. Then uh, there is Bluetooth, Zigbee, Wi-Fi and 802.11 uh, B various uh, variations of uh, IEEE 802.11 standard is there. Then here Wi-Fi will lie and there uh, here lies the UWB spectrum that will vary from 3.1 to 10.6 gigahertz. So, this is nothing. This is about the UWB spectrum. Now, you can see that this lies greater than the first generation. So, gigahertz range uh, frequencies provided by this UWB spectrum. Now, UWB uses very low power and high bandwidth is ideal for delivering a low uh, lot data from transmitter to other services. By sending pulses in patterns, UWB encodes the information. To increase the UWB's range, the reception reliability, a MIMO distributed antenna uh, system has been added to a uh, standard that uh, enables short range networks. The antennas can be embedded into a smartphone or other devices such as wristband or smart key. So, that is, uh, these are the different applications of particular UWB technology. How accurate is UWB? So, UWB uh, low power signal cause little interference with other radio transmissions and can effectively measure the distance uh, with an accuracy up to 10 centimeter. 
to compare the Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth accuracy is only up to 1 meter. UWB can determine the relative position of other devices in the line of sight even up to 200 meters. So, it always require a line of sight transmission and even up to 200 meters it can uh, it can be used to transmit the data. Now, last one is UWB versus the Bluetooth technology. In case of UWB, the battery consumption is very low and uh, same is with the Bluetooth technology. Uh, next one is range. It will going to cover 200 meters of range and it will cover up to 100 meters of range and it is written 70 meters that is uh, practically but theoretically it is it will going to cover 100 meters of range. Accuracy it will provide up to 10 centimeters and it will provide an accuracy of up to a meter then its cost is low both is having the uh, having the uh, low cost then proximity marketing is there customer analytics indoor navigation smart home factory uh, automation asset tracking logistics so in these applications uh, uwb is used whereas this uh, bluetooth is used uh, some of the same things like for the purpose of indoor location customer analytics and proximity marketing this bluetooth technology is used so, in today's lecture, we have discussed about Li-Fi and UWB. So, this is all about today's lecture. Thank you.